Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this very exciting new video. If you don't know me, my name is Aurora, I live in Italy and I love vintage clothes, vintage home decor and thrifting in general. So this is what we are going to do today, we are going to have a walk in Florence, we are going to shop in three very different places and then we'll come back here and I will show you my haul. I really hope you will enjoy the trip, let's go! So today we are in Florence and uh, I'm walking because I have a, a meeting with a, a very special person who really inspired my channel. Her name is Laura Caldwell and uh, you'll see her in a minute and um, I'm very happy to meet her, I'm very excited. So the meeting point is uh, in the market of Sant'Ambrogio. I guess uh, we will find a little bit of everything, something vintage, but also, you know, typical products from Italy. And I'm very curious. Uh, yeah, let's go. And here we are in the Sant'Ambrogio daily market. You can find flowers, fruits and vegetables, then the typical products are inside the building and then second-hand clothes, second-hand leather garments, a little bit of everything. And then here's the section that's most interesting for us where you can find a curious mix of, let's call them lost and found items, <laughs> watches, bags, wallets, costume jewelry. I spotted this vintage bow shaped tie pin. The seller says it's made of silver. I can't really read the marks here, but they are a good sign anyway. And for five euros, it's surely coming home with me. I like this watch by Citizen. I wish my husband Fabiano was here to tell me if it's a good bargain or not. Lately he's really into watches and he asked me to look for a storage box for his watches. Uh, this red one seems too small, maybe it was meant to display bracelets. Anyway, it's missing some parts, so I'm leaving it behind. And guys, here we have a very weird pile of bags. It's always worth to have a look. This one is clearly a dupe. This one is even worse. I am always looking for vintage handbags, this one is nice, but it's a bit too dark and also too heavy for me. Vintage leather bags are so durable, look at this one, just a hand of shoe shine and it will be like new. The micro logo says VS. This wallet reminds me of Etro. It seems brand new, but it's made of plastic. In this pile, I can spot many true leather pieces. Some of the vintage bags that I have in my collection come from messy piles, just like this one. You never know what you can find. This Gucci bag has a nice shape, but as you can see the material it's crumbling, so it's not leather. It's a dupe. This was an easy one. This one was a little more tricky because it has true leather edges, but the stitchings are far from perfect, so it's another dupe. Ooh. 
let's move on to jewelry. Everything on this table is one euro. This one is nice, but very lightweight. And this one is not in good conditions. Oh, cute dromedary family. What a weird mix of items. I love to collect hand-painted pottery. At first sight, I read Bibes, but it's Ribes, which means current. A cute Fendi pendant. You could put it on a scarf. I like it very much and it has its logo here. It's well made, but after all the dupes that I've seen here, I'm quite sure that this is another replica. Let's check also the leather goods section. I like red jackets, but I already have one. This one has a nice color and I like the frilled edges. Midi skirts are a true must-have in your vintage wardrobe. They are colored and comfortable, and if you don't like the cottagecore style, you can always wear them with cowboy boots or with white sneakers. Lately, I'm trying to upgrade my wardrobe with better quality dresses. This one is really cute, but it's made of polyester and I prefer cotton, linen or viscose. Vests are other cool pieces that I like to wear when I want to give a vintage touch to an outfit. Here you can have one from 10 to 25 euros and I'm always in love with jacquard fabrics. A green leather blazer, wonderful. Do I need a green leather blazer? No. But if it had been cheaper, I would have purchased it for sure. And the strangest item I found is this Tyrolese leather jacket with this embroidered mountain shoe. <laughs> it's not my style, but it's so cute. Now, before visiting the covered flea market, I met my YouTube friend Valerie from Texas with her husband. She loves vintage hunting too. And finally, I met Laura. It has been such a great emotion. Laura has this amazing YouTube channel about thrifting and home decor. She truly inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. Probably you already know her, but if you don't, I will put all her links down in the info box. Lately, she is also organizing vintage hunting trips to Italy and other countries. That's such a fun idea. And I was over the moon when I heard that she was coming to Florence. That's only two hours by train from where I live. So let's celebrate. Italia, Aurora. Chin chin, we say chin chin. We're having lunch with Pizza Margherita and now let's go back to the flea market. Say hello! Ciao! Ciao. <laughs> You'll be in the next video. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like a, it's like a perpetual like a calendar? calendar. Oh, it is, sure is. Yes. This is kind of a new bottle opener. They look too new. <laughs> they do look new, don't they? I wish I could take this home. This is pretty. Too heavy. Yes. <laughs> you can leave everything you have uh, down here in Florence and wow. put that in your suitcase. <laughs> That's nice. I like this mirror even if the golden color is too bright. And this is a traditional Florentine craftsmanship. This probably contained a pad of sheets, but can become also a cute trinket box. Also that Tiffany inspired lamp is very cute, but this is brand new and I would like to find a true vintage piece. We've got cute Florentine tables. Look at this inkwell. I 
I got something similar to this one. Laura was in love with this painting and uh, I helped her to get it for a better price. You will probably see it in her video. Here we have Italian ceramic pieces. Then that bird-shaped picture is so special, not my style. And here I can see some true vintage items, but also some recent reproductions. I love this planter, the reliefs remind me about the landscape here in Tuscany, but I looked it up online and you can still buy it brand new, even if I didn't find it in the blue version. A big Florentine tray. I guess this is one of the biggest that I've ever seen, but again, this is brand new and I prefer the vintage ones. Laura is also making videos here and I'm very curious to see which items caught her attention and I can't wait to discover it in her next videos. Oh guys, I love that winter landscape. Look at this painting with colored parrots, it's so beautiful. It would be perfect to give a, a tropical touch to a bedroom. I also like the shape that is very unusual. We had lunch together, it has been very fun. Um, Laura is exactly as you see her in the videos, so she is a lovely person. Now I'm enjoying the view of the Duomo. Um, it has been such a great day and now I'm walking to a charity shop, hoping it will be opened. So yeah, let's find out. Clouds are coming. <coughs> So now I'm sitting here under the porch of the Spedale degli Innocenti. This is a beautiful place. And I'm afraid the storm is coming. Can you hear it? Here it is. This charity shop is very small, but it's cute. And sometimes it's better to shop in small places so you can really go through everything and you don't miss the treasures. This vintage bag is made of true leather and it looks like the Kelly by Hermes. It's beautiful and the price is 55 euros. Silk scarves, I'm always looking for new ones to add to my collection. This one is good quality, not signed, and it is 25 euros. This blue one is made in India, good conditions, 15 euros. Honestly, I was hoping to find better prices, but let's keep on searching. Cute hand-painted vase from Gubbio. If you collect Italian ceramics, you need to have a piece from Gubbio. I am always drawn to this kind of metal frames. I don't think this one is made of brass because it's too dark and the price is 15 euros. This horse is very curious. I wonder if it could be a reproduction of an old archaeological find or something like that. If you know something about this piece, please let me know down in the comments. And what about this micro library? Uh, the price is 30 euros. It has tiny little books and music sheets. It looks like a real library and it is all dedicated to classical music, opera plays, marine and tarots. What a curious mix of items.
I need a booth to use as a background for the videos that I make at home and this one is very cool but I don't really know how to carry it home <laughs> so I guess I'm going to pass on this one I like that they keep these scarves well folded and stored. I'm looking for pure silk, but here I can't find it. Maybe this one. It's from Pantin of Paris, but it's polyester. A nice painting of Venice for 40 euros. This skirt is really gorgeous, it has two long slits, perfect for a summer vacation, but it is from Boohoo and I'm trying to avoid Chinese brands. Ah, and it's 20 euros, maybe it's more than the original price. True Leather Backpack by Timberland. This is a great and versatile piece. I'm still in my stripes moment. I love stripes in this period. And I love this brown and white shirt, but it is from H&M and the price is 10 euros, so this is a no. Even when I think a shop has high prices, like this one, I never give up because you never know, maybe you can find a great treasure that's been wrongly underpriced or maybe you can find something that is a little broken but you know how to fix it and uh, yeah, so never give up. This is a hand-painted ceramic trinket box from Castelli, Italy. It's 18 euros. Um, if it had been like 10 euros, I would have grabbed it. I like wooden jewelry boxes with inlays like this one and sometimes they are music boxes. Anyway, this decoration is quite common here in Italy. So I got something and it is beginning to rain. So here we are back home. I really hope you've enjoyed this part of the video. I know I always ask you the same things, but don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. This will really, it's really important for me. This will really help my channel to grow. And I thank you so much as usual for your support. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Am I touching the plant? Oh, it's a new plant. It's a coconut plant. And now I'm gonna show you my last exciting finds. I got the library. <laughs> it's such a unique piece, uh, it, I couldn't leave it behind. I've got to tell you a story about this one. So a few years ago I was visiting Orvieto with my parents and we found this amazing shop, the name was The Wizard of Oz and um, the owner was this old man, he was really a wizard, he was doing kind of magical things around the shop, but it was very fun. If you'll ever visit Orvieto, you have to go to that shop. And he was also making some, you know, little toys with his own hands and uh, he also made micro libraries. They were very customized so you could ask him what to put inside and they were very expensive. He told us that he was doing this for, you know, 
VIPs and <laughs> I don't know if anybody else in the world is doing the same thing but I truly believe this comes from that shop and this is so amazing guys there is also the name of the previous owner on the back uh, she was probably a musician so yeah this is really really cool the smallest item of this haul is this very small tie pin. The seller told me that it is made of silver, I'm not positive, but anyway, it's very cute. I think I could style it together with other brooches or other tie pins. I will collect them and then in one of my next videos, I will show you how I would style this one. Then, you know that I love Florentine items. I collect them, I also resell them in my online shop. I'm gonna leave you the link down in the info box if you're interested. And so I got this beautiful Florentine cabinet. Um, it has, you know, little drawers. It has a very nice shape. It is a little bit ruined here, but this shows you that it has been used and that it is a genuine vintage piece. So I'm very happy with this purchase. This is gonna be a mixed haul. You'll see some clothes, some accessories, some vintage items, home decor items, a little bit of everything, okay? The first clothing piece comes from my favorite charity shop. Uh, it's a vintage piece by the brand Le Copain. Maybe you have already seen it on Instagram. It's a little too big for me, but I got it for six euros, which was a great bargain, of course. Here it is. So it's a little oversized for me, but I like this kind of safari vibe. This is how I would style it. It's a cool layering piece. Lately, I also thrifted this pair of shorts. They are by the brand Vicolo, which is a good quality brand. They are very wrinkly. I tried to steam them and then I put them you know, on the shelf and they became wrinkly again. So I guess they are made with a wrinkly fabric. So let's try them on. So this is the outfit with the shorts. It's very, very comfortable. I forgot to tell you that the vest is made of linen, so it's the perfect fabric for summer. I'm ready for the safari. <laughs> I am really looking for good quality basic pieces to add to my wardrobe in this period. And I think I'm doing a great job. I also found this very fun long skirt. It's a vintage piece and it matches perfectly with my new vest. Then this comes from a consignment store. For 7 euros 90, I got the book of my dream holidays. I would really like to visit every single place that's inside this book. And here is a little spoiler. This year we are going here. Can't wait. And of course you'll come along with us because I'll make a lot of videos there. We're gonna visit uh, uh, flea markets, uh, brocant, uh, antique shops uh, and uh, castles, of course. So <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. So when I was in Florence, I told Laura that she really inspired me to start a collection of Vitossi ceramic items. Now I have three items by Vitossi. And uh, the last one was uh, a Christmas gift from my parents. And it is the Vitossi dog. It's the longest dog I've ever seen. It's so fun and so special. This dog was designed by Aldo Londi and it belongs to the Rimini Blue series. Vitossi figurines are quite expensive. I guess this one was 120 euros more or less. This is because they are vintage pieces from the 50s and the 60s. This is one of my absolute favorite colors. So I'm very happy to have it on my shelf. Next up, I got this cute biscuit jar. It was only four euros. Here you can read alloro, which is a plant. I don't know the name in English. And there is also the old label here, which says Ceramiche Artistiche Montelupo. And Montelupo is the same place where the Pitossi company is located. I can't wait to use it in my kitchen. Of course, I don't want to put a loro inside. I just want to use it for biscuits or maybe coffee capsules. Uh, so we'll see. A couple of weeks ago I've been with Fabiano to Pavia. It's a beautiful town. There is the Certosa di Pavia, which is amazing. I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures here. And of course we visited the flea market there. So these are the pieces that I got there. Some of you maybe noticed that there is something new here. <laughs> This is such a beautiful vintage Art Deco print. This was designed by Paul Berton. It was the cover of a magazine. Yeah, so I'm very, 
very happy this one was 25 euros it's vintage but it's not the original one because uh, otherwise it would have cost much more and you can recognize the original ones because there is kind of a stamp here but anyway i love it so much and uh, i hope to find other prints uh, uh, similar to this one maybe i will hang them to that wall and then I found something that I've always been looking for. I found a glass vase in the style of Galette. So beautiful. So original vases by Galette are very, very expensive. This one has a special mark here that says tip, which means that it is in the style of Galet. But anyway, nowadays these pieces are becoming expensive too. So I'm very happy. And this kind of artwork is so gorgeous i am so glad that i found it for only 15 euros such a great bargain I i'm so happy back to clothes and accessories i found some pretty scarves the first one reminds me of a, a japanese print look how gorgeous it is i don't know if you can see it all the color combination is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and also the print is really lovely. It's so big that I could use it as a dress and uh, it also matches with my new vest. I have an idea and here it is. <laughs> this is a very fun way to style a big scarf. So for example when you're at the beach you only have your bikini, you can just tie your big scarf and wear it as a dress. This is the belt that I showed you in the last video. I also have this very cute vintage bag. I got it last year, but it was the end of summer, so I never used it. And uh, I think this is the day. I love bags that have a neutral color because they really match with everything. I also have similar bags. Uh, I mean, they have a different shape, but they have the same color. And uh, I never get tired of them. So this is another piece that I can't wait to use this summer. Then this is the jacket that I was wearing uh, in Florence. It's a thrifted piece by Zara. I got it for 10 euros, but I thought that the color was so unique and I had to have it. And it matches well with my new scarf. Very good. Just a quick change of outfit, just to show you that you can wear a scarf as a scarf, I mean, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, I'm gonna show you other scarves that I got. So this one is by the Italian brand Ostinelli. It's made of crepe de chine, so it's 100% silk. It's a vintage piece. It has very neutral colors. It is very, very elegant. The second one, it is a very good quality vintage piece and uh, it is by the brand Loredano, which is the brand of my very first silk scarf, the one that started my collection. So I'm happy that I found another one. It's not a very common brand. And then last but not least, I got this one online because uh, the print is amazing. Um, it's a vintage silk scarf by Falconetto. It's made of silk twill. I love, I really love this brand. And the thing I like best is that it represents one of the uh, famous palaces of Venice. And uh, you know that we live close to Venice. And when I saw it online, I thought that it was perfect for my collection, that it had to come back home to Venice and so I got it for only 20 euros because the picture online was so bad, it was so dark, it didn't show the real colors, uh, it's much better in reality. So as you can see it has a um, kind of a violet shade, I'm gonna fold it, I want to see the violet part so I'm gonna fold it this way. So here it is, I like that it matches with my new jacket. Next up, always from the flea market in Pavia, I got a couple of floral tin boxes. These are so cute. They also resell very well in my web shop. So I got them for five euros each. And I don't know why, but my husband fell in love with a lamp. So we got it for 15 euros. It's a true vintage piece because the cables inside are very, very old. So I guess we're going to change them. This is something that I let my husband do. And probably we will put it on his table bed, bed table. 
well, that table that is close to the bed on his side and uh, I am still looking for my future Tiffany inspired lamp to put on my bed table so who knows stay tuned for that that was it for today guys it has been so much fun sharing all my finds with you and bringing you along to Florence I can't wait to share with you some brand new episodes so don't forget to subscribe to this channel also visit Laura's channel and maybe subscribe to her channel too here you can see a video suggested for you. It is all about vintage hunting, home decor, fashion, everything. I will see you there or in the next episode. Ciao!